everyone, and here's our devotional for Tuesday, day 30, oh yeah, day 30, um, July 17th, 2018, entitled Spiritual Growth and Maturity. Therefore, putting aside all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander, like newborn babes, long for the pure milk of the word, so that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. 1 Peter 2, 1 and 2. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you have need again for someone to teach you the elementary principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is not accustomed to the word of righteousness, for he is an infant. But solid food is for the mature, who because of practice have their senses trained to discern good and evil. Hebrews 5, 12-14 no plant begins its life in fruit production mode. Instead, plants begin as babies which must soak up moisture and nourishment from the soil in order to one day produce fruit. Just as plants must mature in order to produce, so must we as human beings. Most of the time we get this. What we often don't get is that we can't stay babies forever. There comes a time we need to grow up. This applies spiritually as well as physically. If we stay in the spiritual nursery department, we will never reach the productivity the Lord intends for each and every one of us, of his children. Along these same lines, we would never expect a child to grow on one meal a week. Yet, how often do we limit our intake of God and his word to Sunday mornings only? In every garden, there are things which must be subtracted or taken away. Things like pests, rocks, and too much shade. There are also those things that must be added, such as water, nutrients, and adequate sunlight. The same is true of our spiritual lives, just as the verses above from 1 Peter indicate. To grow the way God intends, there are some things, such as malice, deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander, for which we must rid ourselves. On top of on top of getting rid of those negatives, we must long for the pure milk of God's word. But remaining as spiritual infants for a steady diet of milk isn't a good thing. Babies don't produce. That's true in the plant, animal, and spiritual kingdom. At some point, we must reach for some spiritual meat and spiritual maturity. That is where productive Activity abounds as God uses us to reach others first as babies and then as those who also grow up in the Lord and reach us even and reach even more. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for the way in which you've organized this world and your kingdom. None of us are born knowing everything. We learn to crawl before we walk, and at first our steps are shaky and slow. Then one day we learn to, to run. Lord, help us all to see the necessity of maturing in our faith and spiritual lives. May we long to grow up in you so that we can produce more and better for you in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Food for thought. Where are you in your spiritual growth? A baby, child, teenager, or adult? How long have you been there? Are you daily growing or have you have you, have you stagnated? Uh, excuse me. Have you stagnated? What do you sense God saying to you personally about your spiritual growth? Oh, I guess there is more. Oh, goodness. Okay, I thought there were only 30. Okay, we'll keep going as long as we need to. Um, but anyways, for me, I pray that, that I will continue to grow. I pray that, that I won't just be a baby. And I laughed at that <laughs> part because there's this song by Amy Grant. It's called Fat Little Baby. Um, you can look it up. It's like from the 80s or whatever. And it talks about somebody who, I didn't understand it, you know, back then what it meant, but it talks about somebody who just chooses to be a baby in the Lord. And that's what it actually means. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh goodness, that's funny. But, um, but yeah, that's what I don't want. I don't want to just be stagnant in him. I want to keep growing and learning about his word and, you know, keep learning more about him too. So Lord help each of us to do that. So, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.